Thanks, Keith. Our next car, well, it isn't a car at all. Let's see what they've gotten their hands on. Back to Amelia Island. Hi, I'm Keith Ennis, and with me is the 1939 Harley-Davidson Knucklehead. The owner, J.C. Solomon, purchased this bike from the Stephen Slatlow collection about four years ago. When J.C. purchased the bike, along with 19 others, it was already fully restored. Uh, Stephen Slatlow had already gone through all of the, all of the bike. Uh, it was finished correctly, using all the correct parts. J.C. used this bike a couple of different ways, uh, mainly for the outstanding beauty that it has. Um, it's just a pleasure to have and a pleasure to look at. It was rode sparingly, um, just a couple of times, um, not taken out and ridden a lot, but can start up, can drive, and it's ready to be enjoyed right now. It can be enjoyed in so many different ways. Number one, for the mechanical beauty that, the, that it has, um, but also that it's something that you can hop on and ride and show off. Uh, it really depends upon the individual and what they're really looking to gain out of it. It's time to move on, time to find something else. On, on auction day, we expect the bike to bring $38,000. Keith, I understand you're representing the seller of the motorcycle. Can you tell me why he chose to buy it in the first place? Sure. Uh, you know, he purchased this motorcycle, number one, for the sheer beauty, but also because of the knucklehead motor. And was it restored like this when he bought it? Yes, it was. All 20 of the motorcycles that he bought at the time were fully restored like this and restored correctly. Vintage motorcycles such as this have really been spotted by the collector right now for a couple of different reasons. Number one, it's a lot of bang for the buck when you're comparing a motorcycle like this to a similar vintage car. Um, you can really probably spread it out a little bit more. Instead of having one, you might be able to have ten. Well, here at What's My Car Worth, or should I say, What's My Bike Worth, we like to go over the motorcycle and evaluate it. Do you mind if we do that now? Not at all. Great. What could be more classic than a vintage Harley Davidson ridden by a tough guy? Hey, Marlon, where's your trophy? Left it at home. The 1939 Harley Davidson EL61 Knucklehead set the pattern for Harley Davidson bikes for decades to come. With its 60.3 cubic inch engine with 48 horsepower and big beefy drum brakes, this was the Harley that beat the Indians. Now I'd say this might be a fun bike for riding around town, but for cruising might be hard. And what I mean by hard, there's no rear suspension, it's a hard tail, and it's going to be your tail that takes the bruising. Let's talk about the condition of this bike. This is truly restored to show condition. There are indicated 10 miles since the finish of the restoration. The only faults I could find on this bike are the bluing on the exhaust pipe from the heat when it's been moved from place to place, and a little bit of scuffing on the footrest, and a little leak from a carburetor line. On our scale of one to six, with one being an absolutely perfect bike, and six being a bike in parts, we have to rate this a one. In terms of collectability, they built a lot of these bikes, 8,335 but the survivability has been quite low. Therefore, I'm going to give it a B. Values, various motorcycle price guides show these ranging for average $15,000, perfect $40,000. Of course, this bike is perfect. Auction company says $35,000 to $45,000. I think they're right. I think the bike will go home with the man who bids $35,000. I didn't know they sold Harleys at auctions like this. When we come back, we'll find out which Keith is closer to the selling price. Stay tuned to What's My Car Worth? Welcome back to What's My Car Worth? We just saw a great looking 34 Harley Davidson and met another Keith. He thinks the bike can reach 38,000, while our Keith is a little short on that. Who's right? Let's find out. A stunning example of the famed knucklehead Harley, lot 45, without reserve. At $10,000, if it is in front of me here at $10,000, at 12,000, 12,000, and 14. At 14, would you like? 14,000, 16,000. 16, are you bidding me? 16,000, 18,000. 19, I've got you 19 and 20. At 20,000, right down here, 21, 21, and 22, and 22, and 23. At 23 now, 23 and 24. At 24, 24 and 25. 25, selling the Harley at $24,000, right here at 24, 25, Liz, thank you, 25, 26, 26 now, 26, no, 25, Liz, selling to you, Liz, at $25,000, 26, at about $25,000 then, are you all finished, ladies and gentlemen, oh, for goodness sake. 
25 and a half thousand I made. 26 lives now. Come on, 26,000. Have you no homes to go to? 25 and a half. 26 lives now. 25 and a half for the first time. 25 and a half for the second time. 25 and a half for the third. And the last time, $25,500 against you, Liz. So, thank you, John. What a clever, subtle bid that was in the end. Some lucky dude just stole a 1939 Harley knucklehead. Auction company said $35,000 to $45,000. Seller said $38,000. I said $35,000. Final hammer, $25,500.